So here we are at the Steel Series booth with uh, Manuel, aka EG Grubby of our Warcraft 3 team. And he's been actually very busy signing autographs, as you can see by the crowds here. So, how has your trip been uh, to China so far? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been nice. I uh, I, th I think I really like to come to uh, Chengdu. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> it's uh, it's a city I enjoy going to uh, if I'm going to China. So I'm happy that they held it here. Like uh, the fans, although they're sometimes a little bit overzealous, uh, they really. You can really see that they love the game, and uh, like they they really when they support you, they really support you uh, at all costs. And, uh, while I may not always enjoy that when I'm walking, like I'm trying to get somewhere and just like uh, they're basically killing each other, but uh, I really enjoy. I mean, I really appreciate the the meaning behind it. And, uh, the fact that there are there thousands of people when I'm playing on the stage and cheering that gives me a lot of energy. Uh, but you asked about the city. Uh, yeah, for me the city is the sheer amount of fans uh, and like the people who have nothing to do with esports. I think in this city they're very friendly, uh, even when I can't understand most of what they're saying. But Cassandra can translate. I I just feel that they are very nice uh, people. So have you done anything interesting since you've been here? I know they had a Panda uh, Center visit for all the v WCG players. Um, well, on the, on the first day they organized uh, the Panda Tour, like of the morning of the opening ceremony day. But uh, I went like a month ago, so <laughs> uh, I had already seen the cute furry beasts. And I enjoyed it a lot, but the second time was uh, was uh, not necessary and I slept at like 2 a.m. the day before they were getting out at something like 9 so I'd have to wake up at 7 in the end I end up sleeping till 12 to uh, to get my rest uh, which was a little more useful for me with uh, the tournament the next day in the back of my mind so as for the tournament itself I mean you had a uh, very uh, top players such as um, I'm sorry who so how was your uh, group play matches? Well, um, there's a certain amount of uh, speculation you can do before the tournament when it starts. Um, like, let's say if you get first place or if you get second place, you're on different side of the bracket. And uh, for me, I felt perhaps it would be best if I, uh, uh, if I get first place. Uh, that's very nice when that's the case because then you can really go all out and do your best and try to get that first place. Um, for, because like uh, three years ago, if I got first, I would meet Sky in the first round. And although he's beatable, uh, it wouldn't be one of the most easy opponents. But I went for it anyway. I got first, but then I lost one two to Sky. Um, so there is a certain amount of planning you can do, but usually everything goes wrong anyway because everyone gets. Uh, upset or surprised or whatever um, but uh, just to make things simple I tried to go for first I had a uh, two hard opponents uh, but I, I won quite easily uh, and still I'm, I'm not happy or something or or satisfied because uh, it's just like a very small step and I have to now win four rounds and then I'll be uh, the gold medalist and like whether I or not I pass the group or lose in first round, it wouldn't matter for me. So uh, all, all that's good is that I'm still in the in the running, and uh, now I'm concentrating on my next step. Uh, well, you've actually won gold twice now. Do you feel any pressure for taking gold again? Since I know there's been a lot of talk if you would be able to do it, or if someone would actually upset you or take it from you. Well, I don't feel more pressure than I like usually feel for even for, uh, so to speak, casual matches or online matches or like other LAN tournaments. Uh, I don't think like the fact that I won last year makes any kind of difference at all, except you know, in people's minds or whatever. But uh, for me, I think there are many favorites who, uh, who are expected to do well. And they also have pressure. But um, yeah, you just I have to make sure that that pressure has a positive uh, meaning for me and uh, the normal kind of pressure that I have which is also here now 
yeah, I'm, I'm using that to uh, to know that I have to perform and to feed my hunger, so to speak. So now that you're actually out of group play, do you know anything about how you'll be uh, proceeding into your bracket play? Uh, okay, group C is meeting uh, group H, which means that uh, since I'm first, I'm gonna meet the second place from that group. That group consists of uh, Moon, uh, Sokol, uh, Helsing, and uh, Stud, and Tank Liu. Now, I think that Moon will get rank one and Soko rank two, which would mean uh, I would play against Soko first round. Uh, after that, it's most likely that I'll face Lin or Long Walk. Um, I would probably put my money on Lin if I bet money, which I don't. Uh, and then in round three, it's way too far to uh, predict. I don't think I was ever right with my predictions, but I think maybe it will be Fly. So, um, three different continents, three orcs, perhaps. All right, I'll let you get back to your fans. I'm sure they're waiting to get your signatures. Good luck tomorrow. I know we'll be watching. And keep stay tuned at myeg.net for cover live, live updates from WCG Grand Finals.